Hi everyone, my name is Ashton Gleichman and Happy New Year. What I wanted to do today is dive into the opening track of my recent album, Fragments, and just take a look at a few of the musical techniques that I used, the different virtual instruments, and just sort of how everything was built. If you guys have any questions or comments, do feel free to leave those down below. And if you guys are watching this before January 1st, you can pick up the whole album for free on my website. But after that, you guys can check it out on Amazon, iTunes, um, Apple Music, and also Spotify, most all of the main audio streaming platforms. But without further ado, thanks so much for watching, and here is the piece. So my goal for the first part of this track is just to keep everything incredibly simple. So we're actually just on one chord throughout the whole entire intro, and that's F major, which is the subdominant of C major. And it allows the instruments just to have a ton of room to move around. The different textures are sort of weaving in and out. You have some guitar plucks um, sort of sitting below everything. And then at 1 minute and 30 seconds, we have the first chord change of the piece, which begins the build and uh, continues all the way till the end of the piece. So let's take a look at the different layers that we have going on here. So the first thing is this pad, and this is a custom instrument I built inside of Omnisphere. And the really cool thing about Omnisphere is you can super, super easily drag in source audio and just do the craziest stuff to it. This specific sound here is actually pretty simple. This is just an Ebo. So I've just taken an Ebo that I've done on C4, and then it just sort of stretched it, and then what I've done is I've just taken the cutoff and sort of dialed it down so it sounds a little bit rounder. 
And for this one, what I've done is I've just taken a harp patch and then turned the event tide black hole reverb all the way up to like 100%. So it's completely a wet signal. And then I've just hit a bunch of 16th notes like really, really quickly and then exported that and then brought it into Omnisphere um, for the C4 note. And then it just spreads it on the keyboard and it creates this, this pad. So similarly to the last one with the harp, what I've done is I've just taken an instrument called the Cantele, which is this very, very awesome instrument. I believe it's from something like Finland, and Harry Gregson Williams used it all over the Narnia score, which is how I came across it when I did the, the Narnia behind the score. Um, but it's a super nice instrument. It sort of sounds like a hammered dulcimer, but it's a lot brighter, and it has this very sort of light feel to it. And so I've taken that, just sort of hit random notes on the C4 note turned on a little bit of reverb, dragged it into Omnisphere, and then you can create a pretty simple pad. Then here is the next one. So this next one is actually extremely similar to what we had going on here. But in this case, we're using a different harp patch. In this one, we're using the Metropolis Arc 2. I believe it's like the A6 harp which creates this super nice light feeling. Same technique of just throwing on a ton of reverb and then exporting it and then bringing it into Omnisphere. This is a patch that I find myself seemingly using more and more often. It's this very peculiar, random. And the reason I love it is because it's got this random, unbalanced, very odd feel to it. And it's very sort of unpredictable. So this next patch is one of my absolute favorites of all time. It's the Evo Ambience patch from Olaf Arnold's Composer Toolkit. And it's just got this amazing light feeling to it. Which I love to just sort of... I mean, it just has this great ability to just sit under something and it adds this super, super wide um, ambient sound. So next we have the 60 violins patch from Hans Zimmer Strings, which sounds like this. And then we have the 20 violas. which together sound like this. And then we have a couple all for Arnold's Chamber Evolutions patches. Which obviously just the great thing about this is very, very similar to what we had going on with the Camille noise pad is that it's just very unpredictable and the string players who are actually performing these different articulations are given very sort of obscure directions. So they seemingly will come in and out of a note. Um, the dynamics will be, you know, very interesting, unpredictable waves. Um, so it just has this great flowing feeling to it. So here's the next sound. And this is from a library called Pangea, which is an expansion pack on Omnisphere made by the company called The Unfinished. And they are an extraordinary company and they make expansion packs for everything from Omnisphere, Zebra 2, HC Zebra. I think they make Serum and Diva and um, just incredible sounds that are inspired from composers like Harry Gregson Williams and John Powell and Hans and so many more. But yeah, great sounds, super inspiring. And then the next couple things here, we have a sub boom because can't go wrong with the sub boom. It's satisfying. So for the guitars, each of them are a mono track. I've just taken them and doubled it and then I've hard right, hard left, and then just separated them by like a millisecond, which creates a really nice wide sound. And they're both treated the exact same. And that is with an EQ. So I've just removed all of the low end and then taken the high end and just sort of boosted it up to create a more bright tone. And then it also has a little bit of black hole reverb. And this is just me playing my Martin guitar. I'm not like the best guitar player on earth, most certainly, uh, but I can sort of make my way around. Here's the newest element we've introduced, and this is the guitar strum. And this is just a standard sort of power chord on the guitar. And then we have... 
So for this patch, I've just taken the guitars here, run it through Omnisphere, plugin called Innerspace, which is a really fun sound design plugin, and that just sort of works together with the standard natural guitars. So now we're on to the next patch, and this is actually a piano that carries throughout the whole entire build section. And I like to call this one the, the time piano because it reminds me a lot of the piano used on time. And that just starts and carries through the whole entire build. So for this next patch, I've gone in and made this simple, tiny, unneat, unprofessional looking patch in contact. And I've just gone onto a website called Producer Loops and found this great vocal pack and just brought in um, the different audio files and you can very just sort of easily create something that's usable. So it's like a male airy process vocal patch. And then we have this very, very processed harmonica sound. And this is one of those like really, really crazy odd patches that I just love in Omnisphere. Like there's one called like the like the toothbrush on a hang drum, which just sounds incredibly cool. And um, I love all of the processed harmonica sounds that they have in there. And um, yeah, there's just some of like the weirdest yet most awesome sounding stuff in Omnisphere that you never think would actually work, but actually does. So the next thing is a sub bass. It's a very simple primal synth sound and it just sits below everything and fills in the lowest frequencies in the mix. You'd probably have to be listening on headphones or um, studio monitors to hear it, but that's what we have going on there. So going into this next section, we introduce a few new elements just to have everything build to a big crescendo. And the first thing is this string processing sound. And that's actually pretty simple to make. We've just gone in, taken a string spiccato patch, thrown it through a ridiculous amount of reverb, exported that, and then we've run it through a plugin called Chopper. And I usually like to go to the swirl setting and then just turn the depth all the way up and the mix mostly up. And we've just um, set the speed as um, whatever speed the original MIDI file is, which is eighth notes. And so that is all that we have going on for that specific sound. And then we have another one of my favorite patches from Omnisphere and that is the house piano. And this is technically under the EDM section, but it's just got such a cool tone to it. And then we have ride cymbals. This is from Drum Lab. And then we have low toms. And that is from Epic Toms from 8DO. Spitfire Chamber Evolutions. So this specific sound, we've just taken essentially a hang drum and run it through an arpeggiator and then added quite a bit of a resonance to it. See if I stop it, it just sort of keeps going. <laughs> so maybe a lot of resonance to it. Um, and then we have this swell sound, which sounds like this. Which works hand in hand with the sub booms and the toms. So then we have a new guitar that's just essentially chords. And then a loop created by Christian Henson for Albion 1. And then of course we bring back in the Hans Zimmer violins, which brings back that same building quality that we had during the first section. And then we also have a low bass, which all this is is actually just the CS80 replication within Omnisphere. And we've just taken the cutoff and turned it all the way down, which creates a perfect, huge, round um, low end um, feel very very different from the sub bass because the sub bass is very static but the low bass has a great you know what I mean a great quality to it so there is the piece as you guys can see it's relatively simple it's really just a bunch of different layers that sort of work together to create one um, sort of end result but if you guys have any questions or any comments do feel free to leave those down below and if you guys are watching this again before January 1st 2019 you guys can download the album for free but if not you guys can check it out on iTunes Amazon um, etc and again thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys next time